These are the materials that I'll be using for this tutorial. Fashion rulers, pattern papers, a pencil, paper shears, and front and back basic torso slopper. Make it sure that the front torso slopper has a shoulder dart or a side seam dart. And now let's move on to the front pattern drafting. First, I'm going to trace my front torso slopper on a pattern paper, leaving a space on the side seam. By the way, do not include the waist to hip dart since we won't be using this dart. Trace the slopper and the shoulder dart or the side seam dart if you're using that. So if you guys can see here, I did not include the waist to hip dart since we won't be using it. Next, from the underarm side seam, we will enlarge the armhole and the side seam for ease. From the underarm, mark down for its of an inch or 1.25 centimeters. Next, from the side seam at underarm, mark out to its of an inch or 0.625 centimeters. And next, extend the hip line from the side seam. From the side seam at hip line, mark out 1 to 8 inches or 3.1 centimeters. And next, connect the marks together, creating an A-line shape like this one. And redraw the new armhole. Next, I will close the shoulder dart to transfer it to the side seam. To do this, I am going to permanently close the shoulder dart by folding the dart and using a masking tape. By the way, don't forget to redraw the shoulder dart line as we will use it for later. And redraw the chest line. Next, from the underarm, I will mark down 2 inches or 5 centimeters. From this mark, I will draw a diagonal line towards the bust point. And cut and spread until the bust point. Next, get an extra piece of paper and place it underneath the new dart at side seam and conceal with few masking tapes. Don't forget to redraw the lines to make the new dart visible. Next, from the bust point, mark out 6 eighths of an inch or 1.8 centimeters. This is to avoid the pointy bust. Next, redraw the dart legs and don't forget to blend the lines. Next, from the bust line at center front, mark up for each of an inch or 1.25 centimeters. And next, from the chest line at the shoulder dart line, mark up 6 eighths of an inch or 1.8 centimeters. And connect these marks respectively. First, connect at the underarm, making a new armhole. Second, connect at the center front for the new neckline. Next, from the bust line, mark down 3 4 8 inches or 8.75 centimeters for the front facing. To do this, close the side dart temporarily. And from the bust line, mark down 3 4 8 inches or 8.75 centimeters. And connect these marks, drafting a horizontal line.
This outline is for the front facing of the coming sole. And next from the waistline, mark down 6 for 8 inches or 16.2 centimeters. And connect these marks, drafting a horizontal line. If you can see here, at the lower part, this is for the hem facing. Next, let's temporarily fold the hem facing. And trace the side seam using a tracing wheel. And there you go, we are almost finished with the front part. Next, get the measurement from the shoulder level until the tip of the neckline for the shoulder strap. And do not forget to record this measurement. Going back to the tip of the neckline from the shoulder dart line, Mark in and mark out 1 8 of an inch or 0.3 centimeters. And at the tip of the neckline, mark down 2 8 of an inch or 0.625 centimeters. And redraw the armhole and the neckline. By the way, these adjustments are for the strap. For the sewing allowance, I have used 2 eighths of an inch or 0.625 centimeters all around excluding the hem facing and the center front. Next, get another piece of pattern paper and trace out the front facing. And these are the patterns for the front camisole. Now let's move on to the back pattern drafting. For the back, it's the same procedure as the front. Trace the back torso slopper, excluding the back waist dart. Because my back slopper has a contour on the center back, I will draw a straight line to mend the contour. For the enlargement at the side seam, it is the same procedure as the front pattern. Next, from the chest line at center back, Mark in 2 inches or 5 centimeters. And connect this mark towards the underarm side seam using a curved ruler like this one. Next, get the half of the shoulder level. And from the halfway mark, connect it to the razor tip at chest line. Next, get the measurement of this diagonal line for the strap. And don't forget to record this measurement. For the back waistline and hem facing, it is the same procedure as the front pattern, so feel free to rewind to see the exact measurements. Next, from the bust line, mark down 3 4 8 inches or 8.75 centimeters. And connect these marks, drafting a horizontal line. And put sewing allowances to each corners, excluding the center back and the hem facing. 
And lastly, I am going to trace the back facing on another piece of pattern paper. And these are the patterns for the razor back camisole. Anyway guys, comment down below if you are interested with the sewing part of this tutorial and I'll make sure to make it possible. I hope this tutorial gave you enough tips on how to draft your own camisole pattern. And don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel La Modelise and I will see you guys again on the next tutorial. A bientôt!